Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support that you're giving me, you're giving others along the way. You know, I know as us being empaths or even just definitely hey is is not an easy task. And we be taking blows <laughs> left and right. So many blessings and kudos kudos to you keep up the great work and knowing if you're going through something it will not last forever like that you know good days are coming so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video if you feel like you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the video is gave good vibes or good, just good information you would love to share with a loved one or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it go ahead and give me a thumbs up like and even share on the social media favorite wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing love and support and you know i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today let me turn this up because i know you can't really hear it um my um meditation music today is 400 and 17 hertz remove all negative energy in and around you nine hours and i will post this link in the description box below i love stuff like this you know we can go through you know with us being empaths or just hey okas we go through so much energy like we soak up especially if you're a hypersensitive that could be crazy because we soak up everybody's energy around us and i know that can be exhausting at times so you know i put this on excuse me just to make sure, you know, people are getting the good vibes that's coming from my words and as well as the music in the background as well. So, um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101 when the 144,000 is coming into play. Y'all, it's coming into play and you just have to be prepared for it. You know, I did, um, a video about this a few months ago talking about the 4,400, you know, it was very, uh, 144,000, um, it was so mind-blowing to me, and I said, first off, before I even start continue this video, I want nobody to take offense to the things that I'm saying, you know, especially what comes with religious beliefs, it's just the things that have been written down, so you can go ahead and research it yourself to let you know I'm not trying to sit up here and just, you know, offend anybody's religion, um, or anybody's culture or anything like that. It's just the things that they were saying in this stuff, you know, it's a like very touchy subject for certain things that they're doing. So, you know, and they were saying about it, but we're, hey, it's just, you know, forewarning y'all, the things that are going around, we really need to pay attention to. And, you know, if you read about the 144,000, there are just so many crazy things that are going on. And I mean, I've been telling people this for almost two years now. You know, last year was like when the masks were supposed to come off. You're going to start seeing people for who they really are. You might see them on a day-to-day -day basis, people that you have been, you know, talking to or just even been friends with. You know, they're starting to show their really true, you know, the mask coming off, there's, you're seeing their intentions, just the things that they're bringing towards you, you might not have been aware of or, you know, you're probably on this new year, new me thing, you know, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm about to go through the stuff that you're going through, even though it shouldn't have to be because it's a new year, you should be able to want to change anyway, but, you know, it's just good to always start off a new year doing different things, being more, pro pro you know, proactive about certain things, bringing more positivity to your life, just because we have bad days doesn't mean you're having a bad life, so, it's just like when I was reading about the 144,000, there's like certain people that I channeled that have brought me information from when they passed on. And it could have been either a murder or a suicide or things like that. You know, people have been dying left and right, you know, especially celebrities, you know, um, who was it? David Spates, uh, sister-in-law, she had committed suicide, God rest her soul. Um, Anthony Bourdain, he had committed suicide. And, you know, you just are dumbfounded when you come to think about these people are, are like doing so many beautiful things in your life but you never know in their lives and you never know how they are on closed doors like some of them don't even realize there are empaths or they do and they're just not open about it and they can't handle a lot of the things they're going through 
and it, it's just like when they die like that especially when it comes to celebrities and they're uh they are you know very spiritually open you know some of them you know keep that towards themselves you know about the, their beliefs or whatever but they know that their their time is coming up and they're used it as an example and you know sometimes it can take we we take the heart especially if it could be about a celebrity that you really care for or really admire and that you know robin williams he's like one of the 4400 you know it's just like he's been on this earth and he had all these different issues but he was you know uh, battling with alzheimer's and dementia and stuff like that he just couldn't take it so it's just like when I, I felt like when he was in that situation, he had, um, you know, he was contemplating it, but I guess at the last minute, he didn't want to do it and it ended up happening anyway. So it's like a really tough subject, especially, you know, I love, you know, Robin Williams. I loved him ever since Mark and Mindy. So, you know, and it's just the fact is he had, I forgot what kind of disorder he had, but he used that towards his advantage of his, you know, being comedian, you know, very comedian, I mean, very comic, but, um, he's kind of like a Hayoka too, and, you know, I felt that from him, you know, after, you know, learning deep about my things, that how we do things is very comical, we might bring things that us, you know, certain people, we would say, and people look like, did they really say that, <laughs> and I get, I get that, because it's like certain metaphors I use, especially if people with me on one-on-one -on -one basis, you know, they're like, Rosalind, why you keep saying stuff like that? Or why, you know, I can't believe you just said that. I'm like, hey, you know, but you get what I'm saying. But it's just like, that is coming out in the play. And you have to be very careful because it's just like our, our lives is starting to, you know, be opened up to certain things we, don't, we might not be prepared for. You know, it's just like if you look at all the things that are going on, the R. Kelly situation. If you read about the 144,000, they already started saying you know, uh, important people, people, celebrities, karma, <laughs> karma ain't being, you know, it's, the rich can get it just like, you know, the poor can get it, but it's just like, you know, things people have been doing for years, it's starting to be shed in the light, you know, people, even though people knew about R. Kelly from years ago, you know, they just stepped a blind eye, you know, it's just like I grew up on R. Kelly, you know, but when certain things, he, you know, he was saying, I'm like aging them but a number i'm like what the heck you know and then the leah situation you know god rest her soul you know all those different things came up and it's like now he's being exposed to you know being pedophile you know pedophile or you know the things with trump we don't even want to discuss it on that he been like that you know he was more bold about his stuff about he with the things he do and you know he's getting more out of it you know hoping god lord please impeach that man get him off the you know white house because he's just doing more you know, harm than good you know people not getting paid shutdowns like crazy but you know you can't tell bill collectors you ain't got no money to pay them their rent right now you know and i, I really pay for, pray for people that are going through situations like that because it's really hard you know you're hearing about catholics um they're coming out you know kids being abused they're being touched in certain ways and that's the thing i was talking about they don't want to offend nobody but hey it is what it is you know things have been happening for a long time that people try to cover up I'm trying to understand that like you know everything's coming out you know people are seeing masks you know been doing things in the dark and they come to light and it's coming back to bite them in the ass okay <laughs> you know that's why i'm just like hey i just don't have time i'll be honest about the things i do you know everybody got a past there's nobody perfect you know but it's just the things that you know god trying to prepare us for he shed light on things you know people trying to understand why they're going through stuff the way they're going through it you know it's life is not fair trust me i, I understand that i feel y'all on that life is not fair at times but you know when we get upset and thinking you know when is this person going to, you know, be held accountable for the things that they're doing? When is such and such going to be accountable for them? Trust me, their days is coming. But, you know, God has a way of making things come out in a full, full play. But he'll also give you that noose to go ahead and hang your own self with it. So it's just like so many things are coming into, into play about what things are happening in this world. And it's just like so many things are opening up. Like the 144,000 is coming. You know, people die and use them for an example. And they're like, dang, I didn't know this was going to happen like that. But you have to prepare yourself for it. Because I remember I was, when I was reading all this stuff, my mouth just flew open like, what? <laughs> and they doing this for real? This how they do it? 
you know, and it's just like if you haven't read up about the 144,000, I really suggest you Google that. You know, if you haven't seen my first video on about it, I know a lot of people gave me good responses out of that video. And like I said, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody's religion. You know, I feel like, you know, to each his own, you, you know, you, you, you worship God or Allah or whatever, you know, your own way. But things happen the way they happen. I didn't want to sit up here and, you know, start writing this stuff about situations that happen. But I'm blessed for all the knowledge I can soak up to be able to learn these things and be able to see it for what it is. So when I see things coming about, you know, and I learn stuff different, you know, I warn y'all about it. Or, you know, I educate y'all about the things that we need to see in life, you know, why we go through the things we go through. And it's just, especially with us in past. We are hard at work right now. But you know what? The devil sees us as a threat. So don't be surprised when you're out here pushing out, you know, positivity. The devil will come get you in any kind of way he can. He don't like that, especially if he sees you as a threat. He sees, you know, like I was telling y'all about my last video. I'm helping other people trying to understand about their twin flame situation. Will I ever find love? You know, my twin flame was a false twin flame. You know, all these different things come into play. And it's just like I'm giving you know positive advice you know love is not supposed to be you know something that makes you bitter you know um even though you can be in an abusive love situation or a hurtful relationship you shouldn't look at love as it being a punishment to you you know there's people that tell me you know Rosalind, i'm not gonna ever find love if you put you project that out to the world you're not going to you know, if you love yourself, you know, a lot of people get offensive about that. You know, I tell them it's like I had to learn that. I'm not going to tell you something that I have not had to go through. I didn't love myself. I didn't have that utmost respect for myself. I allowed people to walk over me, you know, feeling like, oh, OK, you know, they may have just had a bad day. But that became a recurring habit. So when I went through things like that or wonder why people did the things they do because people can be very hateful I mean I've had people come through my life and you know see who I was see who I was related to and pray to God that things wouldn't happen good for me and it was like I hated them for that and I said God why are you bring these folks to my life and they you know they're you know praying against the situations that I have but it's just like certain things will come to my situation real G's move in silence you don't tell them about your personal stuff. You don't tell them what your next step is, step is because people have got their opinions about it, put their vibes into your blessings, and then they'll mess you all up, and you wonder why you haven't got nothing yet. I had to learn that. So it's just like when people ask me something, I don't know, because I really don't know. <laughs> you know, God made it clear to me when he was like, uh-uh, because it's just like empaths will know when you're lying. I don't know. All I know is that I'm pushing out positivity. I can't live in the future. I'm living for the now. What am I doing to contribute towards other people to get where they got to get, to help them go where they got to go? That's what God sent me here for. This is why God put me in my certain situations where I made decisions I did. So I can learn from and grow from them and help people that are going through situations like this or stop them from going into a train wreck that I see happening. You know, now it's up to you if you want to go ahead and engage on that and actually act on it and say, oh, wow, Ross did tell me I might go through this. Or people get mad about that because I'm telling the truth. That's what hey is do. Now, if you don't love yourself and you're like, Ross, I'm not going to ever have no relationship. If you push that out to the universe, that's going to happen. But when you learn to love yourself and have that utmost respect for yourself and know what you won't deal with and what you will, then you'll be fine. Then you'll find it. You might not find it today. You might not find it tomorrow. But God's going to give you that blessing when you least expect it. That's what happens in divine timing. But, you know, you have to have that respect for yourself. You have to, you know, what you instill in yourself. Other, You know, you attract those people that, you know, respect you the same way. If they don't, walk away. Then you're teaching these people, okay, you can't respect me the way you need to be. I need to re be respected. You don't need to be in my life. You got to go. And then it's just like when you're heading towards blessings, your past is going to come back just to get that full closure, you know, to you. You know, old old lovers might come back. Old acquaintances might come back. I had it. Left and right. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> you done messed up my life the first time. Nope, go away. I don't need you. Or block their number. I'm like, oh, okay, you're trying to call me. All right, I'm glad I got this new number, so I already know I have to answer it. You will go through the things you need to go through for you to learn the lessons in life. Love yourself. You know, I tell people when you're trying to find a new relationship, I'm not in no relationship, but I know it's going to come. 
I'm out in no hurry. Because when you stop looking, that's when it's, it's, you know, it's gifted to you. You know, and it's just like when I tell people, you know, answer this question for me. Because a lot of people tell me, Brazen, I want this guy. Or Brazen, I want this girl. I'm like, okay, with the situation you got going on now, if you found a mirror image of yourself right now as we speak, only you know what you're going through. Would you date you? Now, if you are, you know you a hot mess and you don't know what you got bringing to the table, because back in the day, somebody asked me, what do you want in a relationship? I couldn't tell them. I just wanted to be in a relationship. That's not good. <laughs> you need to know what you're going to deal with, what you're not going to accept, what you're going to accept, what, you know, what are you willing to put up with, what are you willing to offer somebody. Those are the quality questions you have to put into play when it comes to yourself, especially about a relationship. So I'm not trying to hold y'all up. I hope you are able to resonate with this. I hope this, this can speak to somebody in some kind of validation or confirmation. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. My post notification shout out goes to Catalyst TI. Much love to you. And loving blessings, utmost blessings, and love and support your way. Remember, there's you're highly blessed and you're forever being loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. So I will see you on my next video. Much peace. And be wow.